everybody and welcome back to yet another video and to one of my favorite videos to do every year. Welcome to my 2021 birthday haul. Today, if you didn't already know, is my birthday, May 2nd. Uh, so thank you to everyone who's been wishing me a happy birthday. I really appreciate it. And I got quite a few cars items for my birthday this year. We have six items uh, total with seven cars total. And this year I asked only for older releases. Usually... I give my family a list of older releases that, you know, they can only get online and then newer releases that are currently out in stores. But this time around, I only gave them a list of older releases so that I could still uh, go to stores leading up to my birthday. And recently, just the other day, of course, I found several uh, new 2021 cars alongside those new NASCAR releases. So if you guys didn't see my new hunt video yet, I did find some new cars. M Fast Fong, Racing Red Sally, Saludos Amigos Ramon and the 2021 re-release of Todd Marcus alongside um, those new NASCAR racers that I already reviewed, the Ryan and Gogo -Go Logano. So I will be reviewing uh, the, these four first before I get to the cars in the birthday hall. But yeah, still really excited to show all of you guys the cars in the birthday hall. But just keep in mind, these are all older releases, uh, only things from Cars 1 and 2. I did ask for some Cars 2 and Cars as well, but and we only got some things from 1 and 2. And I'm really happy with my haul. Thank you, of course, to my family for, for getting these cars for me. Uh, so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. But before I show you guys what cars I got today, I want to show you guys something else that I got today that's going to help me out throughout the rest of the video. I finally have my very own tripod for quite a few months over the summer and then into the end of the year. I was using, I was borrowing somebody else's tripod. Unfortunately, they're, they're currently using it and will be for quite a while now, so I'm very glad to have my very own tripod. It is the exact same brand and style as the one I was borrowing, which I'm very happy about. It's pretty good. You know, it served me well, you know, when I was using the other one that I was borrowing. I used it for several videos and it's really helpful, especially for these haul videos. There's even a little key where I could sync it up to my phone that I film with and like start and finish filming uh, with this. I'm probably not gonna use that, um, but yeah. Really nice. Just your sort of typical tripod. Uh, it's made for usage with with phones. Um, just put it into, you know, just put the phone into this little stand area. Just fit it on there, and then you screw it into this, and you set it up. So it's really nice to have, and I'll be using it throughout the rest of this video for the haul. All right, so I got the tripod set up. Like I said, it's great for you know videos like this where uh, you know I could bring different items in and out, especially for the unboxing hauls. It's really it's really a lifesaver for those. Anyway, though, as I usually do, I'm going to be showing you guys the items uh, in order by movie. Again, it's just stuff from Cars 1 and 2, but and I'm still very happy with this haul. Mostly background characters, which is great because uh, these are all cars that I can easily fit into the background of my Ty's Cars 4 movie or Cars Adventures, which is really good because you know it's always good to have more background characters, especially when you do a series like I do. Um, or again, if you have a big movie plan that's going to be using a lot of characters. Anyway, our first item is a car that I've wanted ever since I first saw it when I was little in the Meet More Cars book. He always reminded me so much of Doc Hudson. I never got around to getting him. He also has a lenticular variant. Um, I'm very glad here to finally have Milton Calipir here from the 2009 Racerama series. I, like I said, I've wanted this car for so long. And I'm so glad to finally have him. He's definitely a personal favorite of mine. Meet my friend, Ferrari F430. Sorry, uh, since Mattel lost the rights to Ferrari, uh, we're not going to be meeting your friend anytime soon. But Milton, very cool release. Um, gotta say, I'm probably not the biggest fan of his expression, but I really do love the car. Um, and like I said, when I was little, he always reminded me of Doc, but he's a very great release to have. Yet another car from the 2009 Racerama line. I always love uh, opening up older releases. And speaking of older releases, this next one is really exciting. Um, so I stopped collecting cars in around 2010. Um, or at least I stopped collecting cars from the first movie. I was too young to know what was going on with the whole final lap collection being exclusive to Target. I didn't like the lenticulars, and I was growing out of cars, so I'd mainly just get Cars 2 and releases. Because of that, and because of just how many final lap cars have been re-released since then, 
I have never owned a car on the original Final Lap Collection packaging until today. This is Milo, a minor character from the first Cars movie who appeared at the LA Speedway. He's like the epitome of a generic like civilian background character. Um, and I'm so glad to have him because he's just a super obscure character. Heck, I didn't even know his diecast existed until like the summer that I started my YouTube channel. And I'm just so excited to take a closer look at him because again, this is the first item I've ever gotten from the original Final Lap collection. So it's really exciting for me. It's really just like a first for my collection. So now moving on from him, we're gonna jump from 2010 to 2014 for a re-release, a car that I wasn't really a big fan of until I saw a few images of him not too long ago. I think I made him a pretty late addition to my birthday list, but for whatever reason, I started really liking this car, so I'm very glad that I now have Timothy Two Stroke. Definitely not the most interesting release, but uh, if there are two areas of my collection where I always feel like I'm lacking in cars from them, it is race fans and reporters, and especially doing my Ties Cars 4 movie. You know, I wanted some more race fans in it, as well as some more reporters. Um, so I'm very glad to have Timothy Two-Stroke here. An absolutely ridiculous car in terms of facial expression. And I love cars with <laughs> ridiculous faces. Uh, so Timothy, definitely very cool. From the RSN series in 2014, which featured a combination of race fans and camera cars, which is definitely interesting. Maybe I'll try to get one or two more of these camera cars before Ty's Cars 4. Um... You know, before I start doing that. Um, but, yeah, I'll probably be ordering some cars online following my birthday before I start working on Ty's Cars 4. And I should probably prioritize, like, camera cars like that. Moving on to Cars 2. <clears throat> We've got a car here from 2012 who I believe was exclusive to one of the Kmart events. But this is another one I've wanted for quite a while. Very nice background character who I believe actually had a speaking line in Cars 2. Mary Esco car here. Very cool car. I don't know why her name is like a play on Escargo, because that's snail, but whatever. She, of course, is the waitress in the casino in Cars 2. Very nice to have. Always love getting these cars from the original uh, Cars 2 line. She is actually, if you see here, number 49 of 50 in the set, which is definitely interesting. Strange, though, that... Um, characters on the back of the packaging aren't numbered so I, I think she was a Kmart event exclusive if I'm wrong about that though make sure to uh correct me in the comments moving on from Mary though up to 2014 we have another set of cars I'm very excited to open this is a two-pack remember when I said uh six items seven cars this is one I've wanted for quite a while Kimberly Rims and Kareen Cabby some of just I, I don't know, I really like these two, and Kimberly Rims' is hilariously large hat. That's so funny to me. You can't even see her face under that huge, obnoxious hat. These two, of course, appear watching the race in Cars 2, and I can't wait to use them somewhere. I, I feel like I could really make them really funny if I give them, like, a small role in Cars Adventures where they're just, like, these snooty, rich cars or something funny like that. Um, but yeah, two great releases that I'm very glad that I finally have in my collection. And the final car is from 2016. Probably one of the less exciting cars of the haul, but still another great background character. If you guys know me, you know I love the background cars from Tokyo. So I'm glad uh, to show you guys Heike here. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. From the Cruising Tokyo line back in 2016. I gotta say he's a much larger car than I thought, but... Uh, that makes sense. He's the same mold as Nick Cartone and Eric Laneley and a few others. Of course, there's a Honda that appears in Tokyo and Cars 2. Like I said, definitely not the most interesting release, but uh, another one I'm very happy to have. And like I said, another one that I could really use in a lot of roles and videos. And there you have it, guys. That is my entire 2021 birthday haul. A lot of cars that I've wanted for quite a while. A lot of really cool ones. And a lot of characters that I could really use in several situations, like I said, uh, in my Ties Cars 4 movie, which, you know, is why I asked for a lot of background characters. Um, you know, I wanted some more cars just to fill in some scenes, so I'm very glad uh, to have them here. So I'll be getting around to reviewing these guys, like I said, after I review these guys. So yeah, maybe I'll put up some polls where you guys can vote on who you want me to review first, but 
Let me know which of these cars is your favorite, if you have any of these cars uh, in the comments. Just set them up so you can see them all better. We'll see you guys next time. Bye now.